this video we're going to discuss how to add a PS69 DPM add-on instruction to RS Logic 5000. First we'll keep, click on the Compact Bus Local and add a generic 69 module. Here we'll name it PS69 DPM. And we'll go ahead and change the COM format to data int. We'll change the input size to 248 and then leave the uh, change the output size also to 248. Leave it in slot 1 and there we go. And we'll leave the uh, RPI at 2 milliseconds. That's fine. Expand this. Here is where we'll import the rung. Right click on the empty rung, go to import rung. And here we'll choose the AOI PS69 DPM. And that'll start bringing it in, and it'll bring up a dialog box. Import configuration, we'll just import it as standard. Now once we import it, we can delete the empty rung like this and go ahead and verify the controller. Now you'll notice we'll have a couple warnings with some of the uh, messages in the add-on instruction right here. So in order to clear those um, warnings, we'll go and click on each one of these message boxes. Start with this one. We'll go to the Communications tab. We'll browse the path to the PS69 DPM module like this. And I'm going to select this and copy this just so I can paste it into the other ones. Because it looks like all of the messages have the same issue. So we'll go to the Communications tab and paste each one of these. Now this is not uncommon just because it doesn't know which module it wants to marry these two. And that's the last one. And now we'll go ahead and just verify this. Okay, it looks like there's just a, a couple warnings in the uh, in our sample ladder logic. After we import the add-on instruction it will also create user-defined data types, the ladder logic, and controller tags. Here's where you'll see the PS69 DPM controller tags. And I'm just going to show you where your input and outputs are from the uh, Profibus slaves on the network. Here's your PS69 DPM DPM input array. And at the bottom is where you're going to see your input data. Now this is coming from the nodes to the module. So here's where you'll see all those, and you're going to have 408 single integers, or bytes. And I'm also going to show you the output array also. And this is where the data is that you're going to send to your devices on your Profibus network. And there's 480 single integers here, or bytes. And that's going to comprise your input and output size of your module that we created earlier. All right. And this concludes the adding of the add-on instruction and the module into the RS Logix 5000. Now we're going to go ahead and open up the prosoft.fdt software. It'll start out and you'll have a blank configuration. I'm going to show you how to get your GSD files into the configuration. So we'll go to the C, we'll go to Program Files, we'll go down to Prosoft Technology INC, ProSoft FDT, we'll go PB Generic Slave DTM, and we'll open up the GSD file. Now remember this path, because this is where you're going to bring in all your GSD files for your project. So let's go ahead and drag this in and drop it right in there. Now that we've done this, we can close out that. And now we're going to have to we're going to first have to add in a ProSoft Master or PS69 DPM into the bus configuration window. So here I'll just drag it in, drag it right on this green line. 
Now with that highlighted, we can go to the network and then device catalog. Here's where we're going to re-import all the GSD files into this FTT software. So go over here, click reload. It should bring in all those GSD files we've added to that folder. Okay, so now once those are loaded in, it looks like it brought us up a new um, Profibus PA profile folder. And that's where our GSD file is that we've imported. Now we're going to go over and grab the uh, that new device we've brought in here under Profibus PA, under Slave, and Transmitter 2. I'm going to go ahead and grab it and drag it over the purple line, which is going to be the Profibus to the master. Here you'll see the available modules and the configured modules. Now we're going to go ahead and grab the uh, analog input short and analog input long. Now these are going to vary with every GSD and every device you have. So here's you see the device we have and this is the actual GSD file that it brought in. If you need to know any baud rates it's supported or anything like that you can find that there. So here we'll go to the uh, master and configuration. Click on the configuration we can change the network settings, network parameters. This is also the serial drivers that we're going to use to download and connect to the Profibus master. So here in the device assignment, um, if we were connected to a DPM module, you would scan it and you would see the device here and the path, access path it's going to use. Now here we can select Profibus DP or Profibus PA. Here we're going to select Profibus EA, because that's our device is. Now here you're going to see a station ID. It's going to give you the, uh, if you have a different um, slave ID, you can change it here. And you'll see that change over here in the station. Um, here you're going to see what you've mapped in, five bytes in for each of those modules. It's going to start at zero and the next one's going to start at five because the lengths are five bytes long. Okay, so now we can get close this dialog box and now we're going to download that to our Profibus master. And this concludes our training on the PS69DPM, uh, adding it into RS Logics and then configuring the uh, bus parameters and then downloading to the card. I uh, hope you enjoyed and happy training.